This is my Samsung Z Flip 3, which is a super unique and cute Android phone that came on the market just last August. I have mine in the lavender color and it seriously reminds me of those flip phone days back in the 2000s, which I think is why I am so attracted to it and I just had to have it. So in this video, I'll be showing you some aesthetic cases that I got for it and I'll also be showing you how to customize your Android theme. So let's start off with cases. I have four super cute ones here to try on my phone and show you guys. These cases here are by Casetify. I've always been in love with their brand and the insane variety of cases that they have. And now they've officially released all of your favorite designs for the Z Flip 3. If you're not familiar with Casetify, they are a best-selling case brand with virtually endless designs and prints to choose from. So you can expect to find pretty much every case here for your taste, from cute to fun, to edgy, to aesthetic, and so on. And a cool thing is that you can even customize your own text on these cases with different colors and fonts. So if you're looking for a new Android case, you can head to caseify.com slash sleepy days to get 15% off your order. So the first case I went with is this daisy one, which is super cute and minimal. I've been loving really simple patterns lately, so I really like this case. And one of my favorite parts is the iconic Casetify camera ring. So these cases have a raised bezel on the side for extra protection, and I'm gonna need that because this flip phone feels pretty delicate. So I can already tell that the case is pretty sturdy just by touching it. And what I like about these cases is that they are quite slim, but at the same time, they feel super protective and grippy, and they honestly feel so good to hold in the hands. The white daisies look so cute on the soft purple phone. It just goes so well together. Another great thing about their cases is that they are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and also the surface of their cases have an antimicrobial coating. So I'm just going to unbox the rest of the cases now and you guys let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. So I think this daisy one is my favorite one, so I'm just going to keep that on my phone and I'll just rotate the rest of the cases throughout the week. And now that we've gone through the cases, I'm going to show you how to customize your Android phone with my Cozy Nights theme. So I'm starting off fresh with the default wallpaper and theme. The wallpaper is seriously already so pretty, but I do want to give this phone a cute theme to match the purple aesthetics of the phone. I'm going to be using my Cozy Nights theme, which you can find on my shop at sleepydays.ca or you can find the link in the description box below. So this is a theme pack that I created and hand drew with 50 icons, matching wallpapers, and widgets. So after you've downloaded the theme, you should be able to find it in your files. And in there, you should be able to extract the file and it will automatically load all the icons, widgets, and wallpapers into your gallery. I'm going to change the wallpapers first, which is a pretty standard process and doesn't need much instruction. 
For my theme, I have two wallpapers which are each specific to either the lock screen or the home screen. With the new update now, you can also choose these different color palettes that match your wallpapers for your system and app icons. If you have this Samsung Z Flip 3, then you'll know that you also have this cute little cover screen which you can also customize. So what you need to do is go into your settings and then cover screen and then you choose the clock style option and then at the bottom you'll see clock background image and you'll want to click into that and choose from your gallery and then you'll be able to position the photo for your cover screen. You can also choose multiple photos if you want so that each time you tap the cover screen it shows a different one. And you can also select the style of the clock on the cover screen. And once you've saved it, all you need to do is double tap your cover screen. Now to change the icons, I feel like it's pretty similar to how I do it on iOS. So I'll be showing you the apps that I use, but first I'm going to delete everything off my home screen. The app that I'm using to change icons is called Shortcut Maker, which you can find on the Play Store. So with this app on your home screen, press and hold on it and select the widgets option. And then drag this shortcuts icon onto your home screen. The screen should then pop up and then select app. Then choose the app that you want the custom icon for. On the right side, you can tap to edit the icon. And at the bottom there, you'll see that you can choose an image from your gallery. So I'm gonna choose my custom icon for this phone app. And then you'll see that there's also many shape options for the icons, but I'm going to stick with the rounded rectangle because I think I like that one best. So once you're satisfied, you can choose create shortcut and it should show up on your home screen. Now I'm going to speed this process up and do the rest of my icons. For widgets, I'm using this app called Widgets iOS 15 Color Widgets. So I'm just going to select the Photos widget and select what kind of widgets I want to go on my home screen. I'm just going to use one of the icons from the theme because some of them do work as widgets as well. Once you've added it, it does show up really small on the home screen so you're going to have to resize it to your liking. I'm also going to add this new widget called the Google Clocks widget, which I think is new in this update. It has this really cute analog clock, which I think I'm going to use in this theme. The colors of this clock supposedly match that same color palette that you chose when you set the wallpapers. I'm also going to be adding a cute little Samsung Notes widget to my home screen.
In the same widget app I used earlier, I'm also going to add a calendar widget to my home screen since I always need to be able to visualize the whole month. I really like this particular widget because there are so many customization options and lots of colors and fonts to choose from. I decided to change my cover screen again because I think this one matches the wallpaper better. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you have any more suggestions for other themes. I hope my tutorial was helpful for you guys if it's your first time customizing an Android. And don't forget to use my 15% off Caseify link if you are looking for a new case. Everything is linked in the description box and comments below.